I know there are a lot of things I can't understand, but I still want my life to have meaning. I don't know that I want to hear from any more experts. Finish. Will you please let me finish? With intensive psychotherapy, an autistic child can be treated. The report plainly right, shows that down. autism is not it's a psychological okay. problem. I am not familiar with calm the Rimland report. Calm down, calm down, sweetie. Sweetie, calm down. It would be better calm if you down. could get her to sit calmly. To try to control her. What are you talking about? But we were told self stimming is good. It eventually calms them. Self stimming? Yes, self comforting. Self stimulation. Rocking, spinning, rolling on the floor, flapping. Well, I think spinning is good. And then rolling, too. Self-stimulation does seem to eventually calm the nervous system. It can be a way to compensate for not being held. And being held by another person is scary, but, but rolling or, or being held by surfaces produces the calming effect that ordinary children get from a hug. How old's your child? Well, I don't have children. Uh. No, I'm autistic. And I need the sensation of being hugged. Now, I've developed a machine that I get into and hugs me, and I'm different afterwards. I'm more social. Well, I didn't speak until I was four. Now I have a BA and a master's, and I'm studying for my doctorate. How did you learn to speak? Please don't shout. Please don't shout. Uh, mo most autistic people are very sensitive to, to sounds and colors. Overstimulation hurts. You know, people talking too much at once, you know, can cause us to panic. How did you get cured? Well, I'm not cured. I'll always be autistic. My mother refused to believe that I wouldn't speak. And when I learned to speak, she made me go to school. And in school and at home, manners and rules were really important. They were pounded into me. I was lucky. All these things worked for me. Everyone worked hard to make sure that I was engaged. And they knew I was different, but not less. And I had a gift. I could see the world in a new way. I could see details that other people were blind to. My mother pushed me to become self-sufficient. I worked summers at my aunt's ranch. I went to boarding school and college. And those things, those things were uncomfortable for me at first, but they helped me to open doors to new worlds. Excuse me, please, but we want to hear everything. Yes. Tell us, See the world in ways that others can't. Miss Grandin, this is a masterpiece. The door opened and I went through it. Yes, you did. And I held it. I'm Temple Grandin. 